Greetings, my friends. Thanks for tuning in to the latest episode of Hats Unboxing. And it's good to be back, because once again I have another Hot Toys figure I want to show you. It is Pepper Potts in her rescue suit from the movie Avengers Endgame. And once again I had to wait a very long time to get this figure. And now she's finally here. As always, the adventure of unboxing begins with the box. And what a beautiful box we've got here. A real piece of art. But I really do wonder why Hot Toys put so much effort in these boxes. I'm very sure many collectors just take out the figure and never look at the box again. At least that is what I normally do. Okay, okay, that's enough about boxes. Let me remove all these plastic foils and then it's time for the first close look. It feels like I've waited for this figure two years. But I can already tell you, it was worth it. Like all the latest figures from the Iron Man line, this rescue looks amazing. I also should mention that once again, this is a die cast figure. So most parts are actually metal and not plastic. It really is a big improvement in quality. If you look at Hot Toys figures from 10 years ago, they are very different. The improvement in quality is most obvious with the faces. It is amazing how good they are now. So lifelike. Almost like a real person. Okay, let's see what else we will find in the box. First of all we have a manual. Some batteries. Some kind of blast effect. And this drone thingy. But most important we got a stand to display the figure properly. Without being afraid she might fall over. On the other hand I'm always glad if a figure can stand on its own. For me it's a sign of quality. And this figure passed the test. Like most Iron Man from Hot Toys, Rescue 2 has some movable parts, like these air flaps on the back of the armor. It looks really cool, but I guess the most important part is this drone thingy weapons array. I forgot what the real name was. In the movie she had all these triangles floating around her. With the figure they just did it with transparent plastic. You can easily attach the thing to the back of the figure. And if you do it upside down like I did here, she suddenly looks like a butterfly. Okay, well, that's nice somehow. But not the way it's supposed to be. Better turn it all around. That's much better, don't you think? As always, feel free to leave me your thoughts in the comments for the video. I'm also not sure if I should display the figure with or without these wings. So please tell me. And if you like this type of content, why don't you subscribe to the channel? I really would appreciate your support. And best of all, it's totally free. With the butterfly wing still attached upside down, I did a size comparison with the current Iron Man figure. As expected, Rescue is indeed smaller and not as bulky as the Iron Man. But the two of them fit perfectly together. Even their bases match up. I also tried putting a different Pepper Potts hat on this figure. But it didn't work out as I hoped. The neck of the figure is just too long for this kind of hat. Too bad. I saw another YouTuber doing this. And I thought it would be a brilliant idea. Maybe it is. But maybe the neck needs some extra work. And that is all for now. Thanks for watching and staying till the very end. In the next video I will show you how to put batteries in the figure. And how rescue will look when lights on. So stay tuned. I will talk to you again very soon.